Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is my No Man's Land survival challenge series I'm doing where I'm trying to compete as closely as I can with Chainsaw 100 and Dagwin in their multiplayer survival series. So if we just get on top of the hay, as we can see our ults are now ready. So first job we'll get the combine, well as soon as the rain stops, we'll get the combine going on there. I'll use course plate so I can follow that up using the baler to get the straw using the same course. And then we'll move the combine on to do the soybean field. Again, I'll probably use course play and I'm going to see if I can get the combine to unload into the trailer using course play. I'm not sure if it does work that well, but we'll give it a go. But we're also going to have to get a new trailer, so that's something to buy in this episode. Uh, the barley isn't quite ready yet. That might happen next month looking at the state of it now. I've also got the grass field here. Oh, and that's the rain stopped. That's fortunate. So the grass field here, it's saying it's saying it needs rolled. Yeah, um, and it's not at its full fertilization. So I might just get the massy going around there with the roller and try and improve the yield on that. And as you can see, our cotton field, it's mostly at full fertilization. These are just the spots where there was no meadow grass. So it loses a little bit here and there but that'll get sorted once we've harvested it it's not worth spreading um, fertilizer on those bits but there's no weeds because it was plowed um, and we did the lime and, and it's been rolled so we'll get into the combine I really need to remember to move these stumps as well in this episode if I can but we'll get into the combine we'll get a course laid out and we'll get started on those oats. Right, so I'm just looking in the course play. So there's this uh, option here, combine self unload, and I've set that to activated. Combine drives to trailer on or near the field to unload, not supported in multi-tools or convoy mode. So we're not doing any of that. Um, unload on first headland. Combine will call the unloader on the first headland. So I'm not sure why or how important that is. But anyway, we've set that up. So let's just move over to field one and we'll create a job field is this field open the generator we're going to do two headlands we're going in a clockwise direction and we'll start do we want to start on the headland i think yes we do so let's just generate that course there we go, it's fairly simple. So let's just start that job. So we'll get out the combine and we'll let it do its thing. Uh, right, so I'll just jump into the Massey and I'll get the Massey going in the grass field. And then we'll head up to the store with the, with the Arctic. And we'll bring back a new trailer. Right, so here we go again. So actually the mass has already got a course in it, but we'll redo it because I can't remember what that was for. So we've got this field and we're going to do two headlands. 6.4, I think we could actually get this roller widened. I think it goes up to eight meters. So we should really do that at some point. And yeah, we'll just generate that course. There we go. So that might have been for rowing up or something like that, that last course. So let's just set that one off. There we go. So we're getting yeah, 95, 96% yield as opposed to over here, which is like 75, 76. Okay, so we're going to get into the lorry and hope to storm will get this trailer 
Right, so I've also, just on the way up here, I was just thinking, I'm going to get rid of this this lorry. I think I mentioned it in the last video, where I kind of regret not buying the Agri type straight away. So, we'll just repair this and repaint it. And then we'll sell it. So we're getting $80,100 back. So the this is the sort of thing that I want to get here. It's 500 horsepower. Um, and it's got a PTO and things like that, so it could be useful for doing some small uh, some small jobs here and there. So that will cost us 131,000. But there is a modded version that I've got. Uh, I think it's this. Is that T5? Yeah. So I've got this modded version here. Uh, it's got some fancy graphics on it. Uh, wheel setup. We can have wired with uh, tire pressure control. I think we'll just go with wired. I don't. I don't know if the tire pressure thing is actually an active, um, an active part of the mod. It's actually a bit cheaper as well. So the attachment marks can be plastic or they can be painted. Well, we'll have them painted. Let's stick the lamp guards on. Exhaust straight or angled and cover. Where's the? Oh yeah, I see the cover. Oh, you can just have it straight with a cover, or you can have it angled. Oh, let's go. Let's go for everything. Beacons. These are the default beacons. You can have LEDs white, LED orange. Or default. Well, I like my LED, so we'll do that. Wind deflector. Yeah, why not? Flashlights. So they're just on the grill here. Yeah, let's give them a go. Uh, the trailer hitch. So you can have without addition. With communal plate. Also, oh, is oh that's on the front. Oh, with a bull bar. I quite like the look of that bull bar. The colour. Do you know, I kind of like just the white. But the decal colour, maybe I'll go with a blue. Or what about if I was to do like a green? No, not that. Not that. Red. Or a proper red. No, I think I'll just go with that blue. Kind of like that blue. Um, the additional parts, colour. Should I keep those as white? Front bar. Well, we could do the front bar in blue. The rim colour. I'm quite happy with that. And the number plate's okay. So that's going to cost 122000 Which is cheaper than the base game model. Right, and the other thing is a trailer, so I know which trailer I'm going to get. It's pretty much the only one really worth buying. And there's no options other than ring, rim colour, which I'm not bothered about. Okay. So I'm hoping that this can just pull a bit better because I did notice that that Mac one that we had really struggled. It's just more for setting off. Once you got up to speed, it was all right. But we could always send this out with a lime spreader or something and, and do some lime spreading with it, which is probably unrealistic but also quite handy. And I'm guessing that the combine will be getting ready to unload. Yeah, it's beacons are flashing, so. Still seems to be quite a bit of space in the hopper there.
Okay, so that should be enough to let it finish the job off without us needing to do anything and again. So I'll just park this lorry up here. And I'm going to go and jump into the Deutschfahr, pick up a weight, and we'll just go and see what's happening over with the animals. Okay, so we'll just have a quick check on the animals here. So, still haven't got our next letter of Holsteins. These are now 80%, so probably two episodes. They've got a bit of milk. It's not much, and the dairy isn't out yet, so we don't need to transport any milk. Straw's good. Water's good. Definitely going to need some food. The chickens, they've got enough food for this episode. We might, if we've got time, take some more barley over at the end. And the sheep... Um, yeah, they're pretty good. There's nothing need to do there, but in the production, let's just Just check the forage. Yeah, so we need to put some more silage into the silo king And get it producing we could probably put another straw or a couple of straw bales in And then we will put whatever well the trailer's full of manure so We can probably put that manure into the methane plant Right, so that's the silage in. We'll go and pick up a couple of straw bales. And we can see the combines now on its last pass. So I hope this is full, uh, it is, so we'll just head over to the methane plant, drop this off, bring it back, probably put a couple of loads of TMR into the cow's trough, and then we'll put this trailer back under for some more manure. So I think I'll look at getting that roller extended as well. I don't think there's a grass roller that's bigger than 8 metres, so... We might as well give ourselves the best width for doing that, because it is quite a big field, I suppose. I'm also wondering if... Uh, because I can't do that baling of that straw yet, because I don't think this tractor's powerful enough to do the... to run the baler. So really, it could probably do with getting another tractor something maybe like a either a small small large tractor or like a big medium one because it would seem that you can just never have enough tractors right so I've come this way because I just thought I could pop some barley for the chickens in here Oh, that's like five, just over 5,000 litres. Hopefully there's enough space for this. So I'm looking look at there. I think the combine's gone to try and unload. Oh, it may have unloaded. That would be, that'd be really handy if it has. Although I do need to just pick up these, these bits it missed in the corners. I should have set it to do square corners. 
but I forgot. Alright, so fingers crossed I don't have to take any of this barley back. Oh, you are kidding me. Right. Um, I wonder if I can just overload it here. Right. So somehow I've changed it to tip on the left side. Alright, okay. I've got a bucket. We can clear that up at some point, I think. Right, so let's get some TMR. And then we can get back to the combine. So that's this will be twenty four thousand liters we've just put in. Uh, I think that'll be enough for a few episodes. Not actually sure how many how much the cows can take. Wow, it looks it could be like sixty thousand liters. Do you know I think while here we might as well just fill it right up with as much as we can anyway. You know, we could have another 20 cows coming in soon, so I assume that's going to use quite a bit more food. Alright, so that'll do for quite a while, I hope. So I'll just stick this trailer back underneath the conveyor and we'll get it filled up with manure again. So I'll just need to start the conveyor off again there's 8,000 litres so it won't fill up ok so I'll just get back to the farm now and we'll finish off this combining and then get it set off in the soybean field yeah so that's, um, that's really good the combine had emptied itself into the trailer that's a win for course plate Right, so that's um, an embarrassing 138 litres of, of oats we've picked up there from those corners. Not sure if it was worth doing. Right, so I just need to check on the Massey. God, the Massey's so far away from being finished. Right, so now we're in this field. We'll have to do another course, so I might just copy that. Um, yeah, so we'll just start another course with this one. Create a job. Field position. So headland, I'm going to do a sharp corners. We'll probably do three headlands. And that's in a clockwise direction so we'll generate that and let's start the job right so while that heads off what we'll do is we'll get this tipped and then we can just leave it at the side of the field and hopefully the combine can just keep emptying into it I'll just check oat prices though that's not good enough. I think you get to like 1800 normally, don't they? Yeah. Right. So we'll just stick these in our silo 
and then that's all we need to do there. So I think I'll just leave this, this thing about here and hopefully that'll be in range for the combine to see. So I think what I'm going to do is whichever tractor here is blocking the baler, we're just going to use that for the baling. It's a bit overkill using... Right, so if I just open up this here, can I copy this course in? Has that done it? Oh, that's perfect. Right, so we've got it. Um, we're just going to start at the first waypoint. And we'll let it go. Right, I'll have to pick up down and it's away. Uh, what I will need to do is to bring the bale trailer out and just pick up the bales from around the edge of the field so when it starts doing the infield it doesn't get obstructed by the bales it's put down. But you know, it's got a little bit of time, so what I might just do is go and get the winch and the stump grinder. We'll get rid of those stumps and we'll probably pull down some more trees and get those into the into the sawmill. Alright, so first of all, we'll just remove the stumps. Just having a think. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get these bales quickly before I start on the trees. Right, so that should be enough room for the baler to finish its job. We'll still have the corners to pick up, I suppose, but you know, that's a big help having um, course play do that for us. Alright, so let's get these trees down. I'll just do I'll just do another six.
and we'll just switch it on so I can winch it in so go Right, that should do us. Can I get these free or are they completely stuck on tree stumps? I have a feeling that this is the tree that's causing the trouble. Oh. Right, so that's really weird. Why I can't pull these in. It's only six trees. Alright, well I'll just take these four and come back for the other two. Oh, I've just scattered all those bales. Right, that's... Um, that's another job for us to sort out later on. But they do need to go over to the animals anyway, so... Right, so I might just get rid of the tree stumps as well while I've got the stump grinder with me. Right, I think that's got them all. Right, so this is our tree that's causing the trouble then. I wonder what's happened.
Right, so I think we'll put the stump grinder on that bit. It's obviously got stuck in the ground somehow. Okay, so we're up to just over 30,000 litres of wood again. So that'll keep us going for another few episodes. So I'll just drop this lot off, get the fence back to the yard, and then we'll sort out those bales. Right, so I think what I can do here is I can actually get the fent to do some bale picking. There you go, collect and wrap. It's got the field, so we'll just start the job. And that means we can run around with the Zerion. Right, so I'll just get the rest of this straw picked up and then I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, so the fence has got a full trailer now of straw, so I think what we'll do is we'll just go and We'll just go and stick this into the, well, with the rest of the straw over by the cows here. I think as well I must have missed the combine unloading. I can't believe that it isn't full of soybeans already, so it must have, it must have had a need to empty which is good for our our course play work Okay, so I think I can just set this off again. Yes, I can. And we'll... And we'll get back to the Zerion and collect some more bales. Okay, so we're just slightly short of 
Uh, another straw bale there, but you know, we've got the wheat coming, uh, sorry, we've got the barley coming soon, so I'm sure we'll get that used up. So worker A has stopped for a full tank. What does that mean? Which worker? Because that combine is still going. So I'll head over, get the Massey back. Uh, do I finish off these corners? I suppose we could. Right, I'm not going to bother with all going after all these corners uh, because it'll get missed anyway when it comes to get collected. So we'll go and stick this roller back and then we'll get the Deutsch Fahr out and we'll I think we'll try and tidy these bales up. Hopefully I can reach them without going into the barley. And then once we've dropped off the last of the straw, we can get the hay picked up and moved over to the sheep enclosure. So I think they should be close enough for us to be able to pick out the field without actually running into it. Certainly get that one. So I might be a bit harder, but we'll see. I think I got away with that. Not that we're, we're ruined that much barley anyway. Oh look, here's the combine coming to unload. really happy that I've been able to get my head around course play a bit better and get a few more jobs done Right, okay, so I'll jump into the vent here. So we've only got six bales. What I'll do is I'm just going to shove those straight into the cow's um, bedding area for straw. Right, and then now we'll head over and we'll get the hay bales picked up and we'll we'll find somewhere for them over by the sheep right so we've got all these bales on now it's just deciding where the best place is to put them I actually wonder if I just reverse up. See, the problem with unloading is you've got this arm sticking out the side of the tractor, so kind of limits you on where you can unload sometimes. But if I was to just unload it like here, 
I know we sometimes come through, but um, we just have to go around. Okay, so that's that job done. I think what I need to do now is actually go and sell all these um, flowers and planks that we've got and then just check that we've got no other of our productions that are ready to sell. So I'll get back in the Deutsch Fart, we'll get the flatbed trailer and we'll go and load up. Looks like the combine could be on its last pass now as well. So that's worked so well, being able to just set the combine off, put a trailer at the side of the field and not have to worry about anything. I guess that the greenhouse is probably full as well now. Yeah, it is. So we've lost a few pallets. Probably not more than than two, to be fair. But Okay, so that's how flowers loaded up, the usual amount, and it looks like the combine's finally finished, so we'll have a check on the soybean prices as well and see if they need to get sold in this episode. Okay, so I'll get these loaded up and then I'll just see you either at the store or if there's another production that we need to unload. Okay, so we've got quite a few um, pallets on there now. And I'll just check this store. Yeah, so we're probably getting close to this being full. So just I'll just check the store price. But I think it's it's June, wasn't it, for these soybeans? We've got um, three thousand and seventy-four. So we don't need to sell the soybeans just yet. Um, bread. Yeah, that's not going to be a good price. And cheese isn't quite there. Clothes. You know, I don't think we'll bother with the clothes. And I think that's all we've got. Just furniture, which, you know, we're still miles off. Well, we're only 300 quid off, to be fair. Um, right, so what I'm just going to do is just move some more pallets out of this spawn area. I'm thinking as well, it's about time I got a forklift. It would make pallet operations so much easier. At least I hope it would. I'm very conscious though that we're going to have to buy this cotton harvester, which I think is, I think the case one is, it's quite expensive. I think it's, it's over $400,000. So I don't really want to be spending too much money without ha actually having to. So we'll just for now we'll just get these flowers and planks sold there's nothing else in our production i do want to sell our methane though we've got definitely got some methane um, and i might even top up the slurry tank i'm just aware this video might be uh, taking a bit long and i haven't done that much field work to either time lapse or jump cut so it 
could be quite a long episode this one I know some of you like that Yeah, that was $126,508. So I think in the next episode, I'm going to be buying another plot of land. Uh, we can start extending what was the wheat field. And we can get something else planted in there, hopefully. And obviously, we'll also get something straight back into the soybean field there. Probably do canola. I think canola would be good because putting down a um, putting down an oil production could be quite a good move. I know canola oil can be worth quite a lot of money, certainly more than canola seeds on its own, and it's just quite a slow producing facility though. So it's whether or not we have time to make a gain from it. Right, so I'm just going to leave the combine there for this episode. There's no point in bringing it back because we should be using it straight away in the next episode on the wheat field. We got 46,500 litres of soybeans there, so times that by three. And we're looking at, what's that, about $130,000, $840,000, so... That'll be a, a good payday when we finally get there. Okay, so I'm just going to head over to the methane plant now and we'll have a look at how we're doing with that production. Alright, so we've got quite a bit of methane in there. Unfortunately, I don't think I've got an empty tanker, so we might just have to wait till the next episode. Yeah, so we've got 35,000 litres of methane or kilograms of methane, but we've got no more production going um, slurry is we've got 47,000 litres over at the uh, over at the cows there is there anything left in here oh there's a tiny bit so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'll just go and refill this I'm hoping this truck can pick it up that's great so I'm going to head over to the cows now, fill this up with, with slurry and then come back and get it all dumped into the methane production. Okay, so we've got 52, nearly 53,000 litres. I mean, this methane plant produces methane so quick from uh, anything you seem to put into it. I'm actually considering next time we make some silage Instead of selling it all, we could try making methane out of silage. I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, more profitable than just selling the, si the silage direct. Right, so while this fills, I'm going to head over to the sheep again with the Deutsch Fart and bring some more wool over. Right, 
Right, so we've got th nearly three full bales. So they're jiggling around a little bit. Is that bale going to drop? No, it's not. But uh, hopefully they'll make it over there okay. Right, so that's full now. So if we just move over to here slightly, we can probably get it unloaded. In fact, I could probably have unloaded it exactly where it was. So fortunate the unload goes a lot quicker. Alright, so that's perfect. So I think that's all for this episode. Um, yeah, again, I apologise. It is quite a long one. I'll do my best to edit it down, try and get it under an hour, but I'm currently on nearly one hour 40 of recording time so I don't hold out much hope actually but the only jobs I've got left to do now is just to top up the greenhouses and um, there's no point in putting any equipment away that's out so I just want to thank you all for watching and persevering for this episode If there's anything that you think I can do better or like what I'm doing, get it in the comments. Uh, and also, if you give the video a like, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I am working on doing a live stream uh, with some, some people that I sometimes play the game with off, off a Discord channel. So we'll do a live stream where we build a farm and we can maybe have a bit of a crack and get some input from other people on how to build a farm up but that's all for this episode so again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye for now